Let's create a thumbnail for this video for free in Adobe Express. Go to express.adobe.com and sign in using a free account. And under create a new project, scroll to find YouTube thumbnail and click it to open a 1280 by 720 pixels document. On the left hand side, click photos and either search for a photo from these templates or click here to upload your own image. That slows the photos panel. Click on the image, drag the corners to resize it, and then click here to flip it horizontally. Also, let's get rid of the background by clicking remove background. Click here to confirm. Great, now let's add another background. Click backgrounds here, and let's search for texture. I'll choose this one over here to add it to the canvas and then click on it to select it. And on the right, I'll turn on filters and choose something like grayscale or darken. You may also want to activate enhancements and play with these sliders as you want. Next, click on the text icon and either choose a template or click here to create your own text. Use the panel on the right to change the text. Choose a font, change the size and align it to the left. Let's zoom out. And under effects, click here to activate the shadow and change its color to black. Click here to add an outline and also change it to black. And if you click on the layers here, you can drag this text layer and put it under the image. Now let's click here to add a shape and under basic shapes, let's choose this line. Click to select it, rotate it, reposition it, resize it by dragging its edge. Use this slider to control the thickness and click here to change the color. And using the same process, you can search for a rounded rectangle shape, resize it, reposition it, change the colors and so on, and then add a text layer on top. Finally, you can click design assets and search for a clock, click on it, put it behind the picture by dragging down its layer. Resize it, reposition it, and change its opacity using this slider on the right. When you're done, click here to download the image as a PNG, JPEG, or even a layered PDF that you can open in Illustrator and make further changes if you want.